in this video I'm going to show you how to make a Dwarven Forge unpainted cavern tile into a grassland style tile. The paints I'm using are Battlefield Brown by P3, Xandry Dust by Citadel, for the small stones I'm using Longbeard Grey, and finally for any water effects I'm using Army Painted Dark Sky. So you want to get a bit of the Battlefield Brown onto your brush, make sure you get most of it off. And then give it a good old dry on your tissue. Uh, and this is the, the base colour for it, so you want to put this on pretty thick. So just give it a good old flick around. You won't see much of a difference here, but this is giving it the, uh, the dark earthy undertones that you need. So now you want to get a bit of the Xandry dust, uh, get a bit of that on the brush, make sure you wipe most of it off, uh, and give it a good old dry on the tissue. You're going to be doing a much lighter dry brush here, and you're going to be using a kind of a flicking motion on the piece. So you can see I'm, I'm holding the brush uh, further up and looser in my fingers, and I'm just kind of flicking it along the edges of the tile. See, I'm avoiding the uh, the rocks here in the little recess. Um, not bothered too much, so like I've hit one here. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference because I'm going to be painting over in grey later. Uh, but I do want to avoid putting any of the brush on here just in case it does accidentally get into the cracks. So any any like deep areas, you probably want to keep your brush away from. I think that's enough for the main base layers. So now I'm going to apply some flock uh, and some other bits and bobs. Uh, so on this one I've got some flowers, uh, some piece of brush, and this is two millimeter spring static flock. So for this part, I'm going to be using an old, disgusting brush that's got no purpose for anything else. I'll get a bit of water to water down the PVA slightly. Maybe a bit more on that. So I'm going to do all of the glue for the grass parts. I'm going to put it kind of in the middle of each of these tile little flagstones. And I don't want any of the glue to get into the cracks. 
because otherwise you'll have grass poking out in between. And we want to keep the uh, the tiles quite defined. So if we're doing grid-based movement like in D&D, we can still move the miniature around on the tiles. Good. Okay, give your brush a good clean because you don't need that PVA to dry on your brush. All right, so now I'm just gonna take little pinches of the static brass. Just gonna sprinkle it on. If you miss stuff, get it all over your workstation, that's fine. Because you can just scoop it back into the box layer. shouldn't take too long to dry so once you've finished applying all the grass you can just tap it off as you can see here and it should mostly stick all right there's a few areas where it looks a little bit patchy still so i'm just gonna put some more grass on those areas Leave it for a bit longer. Let's see if it will stick. Now, if it looks a bit patchy and rubbish at the moment, that's fine because we can cover all that up later with our tufts and other detail work. We can always just, you know, go back on and put some more PVA on later if we want, add more grass to it. The next step is to select a few tufts that we want to put around the place, work out where we're going to put them. And then glue them on. So I'm thinking that looks like a good place to put one. Um, probably over there as well, in there. Uh, and I think I might put one in the middle of one of these big tiles as well, just to break them up a bit. We don't want too much of an area which is just flat and one sort of texture because it doesn't look very natural then. So we get our old knackered brush again. Get a blob of our PVA. And we slap it onto where we want to put those tubs. So 
sort of press down the um, plastic undercoating on the tufts. It's most of these when you buy them have like a, a layer of dried PVA uh, and this is obviously where it attaches to so you just need to make sure that the, the surface here properly connects with the, the glue that you've got. So I'm going to do these little stones now uh, and any any stone that hasn't got grass on I'm going to pick out so we've got these bits here this over here this one Let's see these ones here I'm using model painter small dry brush uh, it's pretty good for fine detail dry brushing and I'm using long beard gray Go for these tufts now don't need those And then once again, the same sort of kind of flicking motion as before, uh, but just in a more kind of concentrated area. You don't have to be too precise around this. The good thing about doing nature tiles is any little mistakes you make just make it look better in a way because nature isn't particularly precise. When you're looking at it from afar, you don't really notice anyway. The little spillages. So don't worry too much. Just gonna slap it on. Finally, adding water to these pools. You don't have to do this. Obviously, you could do these tiles without any water on, uh, but these big gaps are there, so I'm going to put something in them. Other suggestions, things to put on these, if you don't want them all to have water on the same area, which would look a bit weird, uh, you could put some of your tufts over the top of them. People won't even notice it then. Uh, or you could put some other bits and bobs. You could put like a skull in them and make it look like a little crater where an explosion's gone off. Just try and get ways to uh, break up your tiles so when they were laid out next to each other it doesn't look like the same sort of thing. But I'm going to do these as water as well. So the Army Painter paints do receive some criticism for being very very thin. Uh, as you can see there The, the medium is, is clearly like right there on the edge of the paint and the uh, pigment itself is kind of pooling down there. That's a bit too thin even for what I'm doing here. So what you have to do sometimes is give it a good old shake. Squeeze a bit out and then the bit that you're actually going to use put it on a different part of your palette. You see that's a lot thicker now. So I think some of the medium just kind of um, 
rises to the top of the bottom and you need to squirt some of the medium out. And you can use the second lot. Just using a small layer brush for this, something a bit more precise. finished grassland tile using the Dwarven Forge cabin pieces.